What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Lost Ark video. It's your boy, Brother Chris, coming at you with another Lost Ark banger. All right, let's cut that bullshit. Um, that was just to appeal to the Zoomers and the people that say I talk slow or whatever. Look, man, I can do it, too. I'm just myself. I'm unapologetically myself. And welcome back to another episode of Arconomics, though. I feel like prices of shit are about to go fucking crazy. Because this is the... Uh, no, I think it's not the week before the patch. It's the second to last week before the patch for us. And in that patch, we're getting some cool stuff. We're getting some cool shit. Let's take a look at blue crystals, first of all. Um, blue crystal, where are you? 3,900. Pretty standard. Uh, I'm not surprised to see this. Blue crystal is kind of expensive right now, but that's because I think a lot of people are buying blue crystals to buy arejas. And let me touch the arejas again. So arejas, if you don't know, you need a lot of these little little fuckers, little Cheeto dust fuckers. Uh, I call them Cheeto dust because they look like red hot Cheetos, that same red. Uh, it's very iconic. But if you buy a hundred of these, Right now, they would cost you 6,500 gold. If you were to buy 100 of them from the currency exchange, say we buy 100 crystals, or 95 in this case, um, it costs us 3,960. And what can we do with those 95 crystals? Well, you go over here to the enhancement section of the Mari Secret Shop. You scroll back until you find Prime Marejas. They cost 45 crystals each. 45 plus 45 is 90 for those of you who are just as bad at addition as I am. Uh, which means for 39 at 60 gold, you can buy two of those, which are 100 fusion mats, and you have five crystals left over if you want to be, uh, you know, exact with the amount. So you're getting it for much, much cheaper, nearly a 50% discount. The only downside is the fact that they only come in stacks of 50, obviously, and you have to wait for them. But... The reality of the situation is, I would just stack them up until you have enough to do some honing, and then I would hone with those. Because right now, buying these is insanely expensive, and the profit margins for crafting them are insanely big. And again, I am going to bring up the website here. The I think this is the last time that I'm going to do it, unless they continue to be this crazy. But I like to remind you people, especially since, again... I don't know who watches what episodes. Some people watch them all. Some people don't watch them all, which is why I keep doing this. Because I want... M it, it's always been like the first and foremost part of my channel is I, I like to help people. And I like to help people make money, specifically. Because a lot of people struggle to make gold. Which, again, I get. I'm going to look up the prices of this stuff just to be precise. So white fish right now are 58. Red flesh are 12. What are pearls at? Pearls are at 12 as well. What is magic carp at? 80? So right now it's worth it to convert red flesh to carp because carp are so fucking expensive. I'll also do relics just in case relics are better. Relics can sometimes be better. And in really rare cases, sometimes meat can be better. But you're usually waiting for bots to get banned. Uh, and then Arejas are currently 66 gold is what I would sell mine for. So, 66. So, this is the profit I would be making right now with my stronghold settings. You have to sp input your own stronghold settings, but this is my stronghold settings. You go over to settings and you input the stats. But with my stronghold, I would be making about 460 gold per hour, crafting primes with fish. I'd be making 330 gold per hour crafting primes with relics uh i didn't update the meat so don't look at the meat the meat price is just not real and again because something this is something people ask yes this does account for the market tax it does um i'm not sure how to show that best right now what if i do like 61 yes so if i put it in at 61 because of how the market works, selling it for 61 or 60 would get you the same amount of gold. 
this just shows you that it 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 it, it, it accounts for the uh, tax because it's five percent or one gold, whatever is higher. You get it. You get it, buzzer, buzzer. You get it, buzzer. Actually, I think the the word is baza. I'm not Australian though, so I don't 100% know baza. Anyways, that's enough of me yapping. Let's actually look at stuff real quick. Let's take an overview of what we got going on here before the patching. Radiant leaps are honestly they've been around the 60 to 70 gold range. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. I haven't seen them above 70. I haven't seen them below 60. Um, you do with that what you will. Again, fusion mats have just been steadily going up. They were ho hovering around like 60 gold. Now they're up like 66 gold. I don't know if they're just going to keep going up um, to the moon, if you will. But I'm taking the profit right now because that shit is fire money. Especially since I don't have to do anything aside from just queuing the shit up. Uh, and shard bags are honestly, they were at like under 300 gold. Now they're above 300 again, which is interesting. Because we know, well, we don't 100% know, but it's very likely that honor shards won't convert to tier 4. Because they didn't explicitly say they will. They also didn't explicitly say they won't, but with the other materials, they said they would. So it seems weird to leave out one. Um, and then honing rate up mats obviously won't convert, but I, I don't know why these still have such high value. Like, I haven't done the math on, like, honing, even, like, honing your high-level weapon. But at a certain point, it's got to be worth it to just not use solars because they're so expensive. I feel like we've got to be near that point. Like, these have not changed price while everything else has massively went down. Uh, anyways, let's take a look at Sidereal Energy. Jesus, we're almost back up to 2 mil. The last sold one is 1.9 mil. There's one on the market for 1.9 mil. 1.9 and a half, 2 mil, 2.15 mil. Jesus Christ. I wish I could get a fucking Sidereal, I tell you what. Let's take a look at the gems. Level 10 gem. Looks like 161k for a cooldown, 161, 162. Where's the damage gem? What's the premium looking like? 215, so there's still a good premium on that, like a 50, 60k premium. Hmm. I do wonder if gems are going to go down at all when um everybody gets access to free level 7 gems. I don't know when that's happening. I'm not sure if it's with the patch that's upcoming or it's with tier 4. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I could go look it up, but I don't care that much, you know? I'm just interested to see what will happen to gems if it is in the next patch. Uh, will gems go down anymore? Or will they go up? Who knows? Anyways, that's it for this week's Arconomics. Basically, the tagline of this one is just make arejas, man. Make free money. Like, investing in the stronghold structures in order to get you into the place where you need to be to make money... Like, it, these have paid themselves over a thousand times at this point. Especially this thing. You can't get this thing. I think they only ran it once for one of the Lost Ark Christmas events. But the Platinum Founder train set isn't even that good. I just use it because it's great success chance. I think cost reduction is just better than, obviously, the outfits you can get whenever you want them. But it is a little bit of an investment up front. But this shit pays for itself very fast. You just craft shit. It's like pretty much always profit. Look, man. I'm lazy, and this shit is such free money. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you uh, to my YouTube members. Consider becoming a member. All that good shit. I love you all. I'm Audi. Bye.